Hello guys, welcome back to the channel once again. In this video, we'll look at how to properly update the Intel Iris XE graphics. Okay, so this is uh, the dedicated or you can say the uh, graphics uh, uh, version by Intel. So how to update its driver properly, okay? So if you closely look over the driver version current that I have is 31.0.101.3368. Okay, so uh, I know there is an updated uh, driver uh, version is available but it is not updating it doesn't matter if i use any third party app to like any software updater it could be driver booster by iobit or any you can use any it is not going to update that but you can using use those softwares to get the updated other uh, driver units okay so uh, if you come over to the official website of intel iris x graphics you can also see there is nothing mentioned now like if you want to upgrade or anything. So where to download, just come over to this website, Intel Arc Iris XE Graphics, WHQL Windows, and you can see the driver versions mentioned in it. Even it has the latest uh, last five uh, driver version of uh, the setup available, but not with the current that I have in this PC. Even they have last, I mean, they don't carry the obsolete one, okay? So if I uh, take you to the task manager, you can clearly see it. I'm running very older uh, driver version. Okay, so uh, the latest one is like uh, 4255. Five. So if you want to update, uh, you can do by two steps. Like first is always the manual or second is the automatic. Okay, so we are going to follow both of them and then we'll see uh, which is the better way to update uh, the driver version. Okay. So here I'm downloading the official setup manually. Also, I'm downloading this automatic setup, which is Intel driver and support assistant. Uh, this is uh, not a proper setup, but it's something like uh, merged with HTML code. So it uh, works over your web browser and helps you to update your drivers. Okay. So all along, um, uh, we are just going to install. Uh, let's first install this Intel driver and support assistant. So if in any case we need anything, we can do that. Okay, so restart after the installation. Uh, we are back over to uh, the PC and let's see what we can do with this now. Okay, so over this part, we are going to install this manual setup and uh, you can also check out the installed uh, file, which I told you, which is based on a uh, web. So this is web based and it is going to scan uh, the required uh, updates which it could offer or fetch from their servers. So we have two updates available so we can easily update them. And uh, this is not going to consume that much of part but even this automatic support resistant didn't pick any kind of graphics uh, driver uh, update. You can see there's just Bluetooth and uh, the other something unknown. but it didn't pick the actual driver update which we were looking for like the actual graphics driver okay so now uh, we have to go back to the setup that we downloaded uh, before uh, in a manual way okay so this one is the uh, actual updated uh, WHQL version of this driver package so we are going to install this Intel Iris X setup and after the installation, you will get something like which is really uh, helpful for your future updates and you don't have to indulge in any kind of other things. Okay, so as you, as you can see that we are running uh, 3368 as I told you, which you saw before. Okay, so the installation is just as simple like every other software. Installing graphics driver could take a while but I'm just fast forwarding this thing and you can finally reboot but uh, you can see the driver version is already updated even if I reboot it or, or not it doesn't matter anymore because it has successfully updated its driver version but even uh, if you want to make sure just restart your system and then come back okay so here uh, let's open this uh, tray icon so you can see there we have two different uh, setup running behind. So first is this Intel Arc control. And this is uh, the uh, control panel setup where you can manually check by just hitting over check for updates. So you can always make sure that you are running with the latest driver version. Okay, and that's all. This is how you can update uh, easily 
and in an efficient way. So uh, I hope this is really helpful and uh, you don't have to indulge in anything. Just download this ARC control using their official website, which is given in the description down below. And later on, you can just quit and you don't have to run it on startup as well. You just have to use it whenever you feel like you need to check for the latest drivers. Okay. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day guys. Bye bye.